Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial of my uh, YouTube tutorials. This time we're going to explain how the famous algorithm run length encoding works and we'll try to um, have some Java code. The code will probably be uh, presented in another video. In this video we'll try just to understand how it works, how the run length encoding works and then we also will also have a look at the opposite way which is the decoding so we'll explain what it is and how it actually works um, so run length encoding RLE for short is a simple technique to compress digital data so focus we have digital data it represents consecutive runs of the same value on the data as value followed by count or maybe count followed by value so we have we have digital data and in this data we expect to have uh, runs of repeated values basically runs of the same values consecutive runs of the same value so if we have those then we can use run length encoding to represent the data as value and count or maybe count and value so always focus the name actually explains it all run length encoding so we have a run of consecutive values we measure the length of that run and we encode it as value and count or count and value it depends on how you want to re represent it so the run length is defined as the number of consecutive equal values the number of identical values so the the purpose here is to sort of reduce the amount of data yes so we have data digital data as we said and we want to reduce the amount of data needed for storage or transmission or anything like that so when we have large amounts of data and we expect to have repeated values consecutive runs of repeated values then we use run length encoding to reduce the amount of, of, of storage space needed or the amount or the size of the data if we want for example to send it for, for example to, for transmission um, via a network or anything like that so for storage and transmission this is quite good usually and it's often used in various applications of uh, digital signal processing DSP that stands for dig digital signal processing and the most famous ones for example we have image processing remember we have digital data so image processing maybe image, compre image compression and things like that so I hope this makes sense remember the name actually says it all it makes sense it's quite intuitive run length encoding let's have an example and see how it actually works imagine we have a string or have or have sort of a values like this one here a a a a a b b b b b c c c and r run length encoding works by scanning through the data that we have one value at a time and then checking whether we have consecutive values or, or, or whether we have as we said before here runs of the same value in the data so here we have a run of a's one two three four five consecutive a's and what we do is we can say we have five a so five is, is the count and a is the value or as we said before we can have it the other way around as of a5 I'm sorry a5 rather than a so it could be a5 so we have five a's here and then one two three four five five b so we can five a five b one two three four five five c's and one r so I hope that makes sense this uh, this is the run of uh, consecutive uh, uh, identical values five a's we can say five a five b we say five b and then five c's we say five c we have one r we say one r all four for example binary data we have four zeros so we can have we can say four zero and then two ones two one one zero that's one zero and then two ones two one and then three zeros and three zeros and then five ones again just to repeat we can say for example we have zero four uh, I just try to sort of color code things here to make things clear um, so I can basically I put the count in red and the actual value in uh, black so this can be for example for, uh, 0 4 so 0 is repeated, repeated 4 times and then we have 1 repeated 2 times and then 
I can get rid of this. I'm sorry, I need to put this as black. So we can have one, zero repeated four times, one repeated two times, and we can continue so on and so forth. I, ho I hope that makes sense. I'm sure you get the idea of how this actually um, works. Yes? So count and value. Now, a few things to notice about run, about run length encoding that if all the values are in the original data are exactly the same, then RLA can reduce the data to just two values. Imagine we have some data and it's all A's. So imagine we have now 16 A's here, then we can have 16 A's. So we have only two values rather than 16 values of A. Yes, so this is the optimal case. This is the best case scenario where all the data is have the same value. Then we end up with two values and that's very, very good for compression. But if there's no repetitions, if there's no repetitions, so imagine this string here, if it, if it was all 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, or 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, then what will happen is we will have a count for every single value, and in that case, we will double the amount. Yes, we will have double we will double the amount of numbers compared with the original data and that is the worst case so the best case is when all the data is exactly the same and we end up with only two values a count and a value and if if there's no repetitions then we will double the data because we for every single value we need a count uh, and therefore the run length encoding algorithm should be used only in cases where we expect to have runs of the same value where we expect repetitions and the good thing about RLE, about run length encoding, is that it's actually a reversible or lossless compression technique. Reversible, what that means is we can actually decode that value. We can get, we can retrieve the original data. I mean, if you see here, this is the data. I have A's, B's, C's, and R's, so 5A, 5B, 5C. So without having, without seeing this, I can re sort of regenerate the original data by putting, instead of having 5, I just loop 5 times and have A loop five times and have, have B loop five times and have C and then do it one time and have R. So getting the original data is extremely easy and that's why RLE is a very good technique. Yes, so it's reversible. Even if we do it for image compression, we can compress an image and then we can retrieve the exact same image because as we said, the, re the technique is reversible. That's why it's called lossless. So we don't lose any data. It's lossless i.e. we do not lose any data. Just a second look here that from this we can have this and from this we can have the original string likewise for this binary string here. Enough talking. Thank you very much for watching. In the next video I'll show you some Java code uh, on or that, that shows how to encode um, uh, any sort of array or string um, or anything actually using RLE and then how to decode the encoded value, i.e. how to do the opposite and get the original value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.